Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to the most spectacular miniature played by Alexander Aliehin. So the game was played in Banja Luka uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina and it was played in 1931. Uh, during the exhibition, simultan ex exhibition, we have even the picture from such an event, not sure if it's from 1931 or 1936, uh, Alexander Aliehin was coming to Banja Luka from time to time uh, and played the, the simultans there um, and he won 27 games drawn uh, five games and lost three games uh, and at that time he was the world champion number one in the world and according to the chess metrics his ranking was 2850 he was 38 years old and he's gonna play as white and his opponent his opponent Milorad Vasic Nobody knows Milorad Vasic, he was a local musician and footballist and uh, big chess enthusiast, uh, played in the local chess club. However, uh, we don't know about his strength, uh, but probably I just estimate could be around 1600. He was 28 years old and he's gonna play it as black. So uh, let's see what happened on the board. Uh, Alexander Aliehin opened with e4 and Vasic answered with e6. French defense on the board and now d4, d5 and knight c3, bishop b4, so Vinaver variation. Uh, and here we already know that e5 is the most popular and we know because I commented a couple of games this year, um, it was quite often played during the candidates tournament, but also other tournaments this year. Uh, so definitely e5 is the most popular move. However, Alexander Aliehin goes for bishop on d3. So he still keeps the, the question what's gonna happen in the center. Uh, it's, you know, it can be closed, it can be opened, and uh, it's always the choice. White can make a choice, black also can make the choice. Um, but here Milorad Vasic didn't wait for a3. Usually after a3, black just exchanged the bishop for the knight, um, and the game continues. However, here Milorad Vasic takes the knight, we have b takes on c3, so first in accuracy, and now he should just continue, you know, uh, takes the pawn on e4 uh, and then develop the knight with tempo and he would have very comfortable game it's french but after he castle everything is fine with his position and he just can enjoy his game however in this position he play h6 and i probably understand the idea behind this move because now after knight on f6 white cannot play bishop on g5 pinning this knight and then uh, e5 could be very unpleasant so so uh, probably that was the idea, but this is actually a mistake, because now Aliehin uh, said, okay, I, if you don't want me to play bishop on g5, how about I play bishop on a3? And now I'm slicing uh, the squares around your king, and that doesn't look good for you, because you cannot, for example, castle, what to play next. Uh, black probably should go again for d takes on e4 and after exchanging just trying to continue maybe some idea knight on d7 c5 uh, queen on a5 and then continue the game uh, that's i think what could be played however uh, milorad vasic play knight on d7 immediately and now we have queen on e2 that's the first threat of alexander aliehin in this game now he tried to take the pawn and another pawn is pinned so it couldn't be recaptured so we have d takes on e4 bishop takes on e4 and knight on f6 with tempo and alexander aliehin don't want to exchange um, the bishop so he play bishop on d3 and now we reach the critical position of the game what to play as black probably the best idea would be c5 okay trying to castle because now uh, the pawn you know is a uh, work as a shelter for the castle and if white tries something like d takes on c5 queen a5 with a very nice threat so probably bishop on b4 now queen c7 um, and the pawn is attacked twice uh, also 
a5 is coming so uh, black gonna have very comfortable position to play also look at these pawns these pawns are ju just just terrible so uh, that would be idea to play c5 however milorad vasic play b6 b6 and this is losing move so feel free to pause the video and find the winning moves for white while i enjoy my cup of tea okay ready so if you find something like queen on f3 this is good move but this is not crushing move so a uh, queen on f3 is of course possible but rook on b8 and rook is not under attack so uh, bishop b7 is coming uh, white can try something like queen on c6 and then bishop on b7 is losing for the same reason which what happened in the game so I will just show you that this is better for white uh, and black have to play something like knight on d5 uh, and prevent another move, which I'm going to show you now. But uh, after b6, what Alexander Aliehin play is the stunning queen on e6 bang and this is a queen sacrifice in the move number 10 by Alexander Aliehin really really spectacular and black has nothing to do here uh, queen on e7 gonna be met of course with the queen e7 checkmate so a uh, milorad vasic play f takes on e6 and he lost after bishop g6 checkmate okay this is checkmate and just for your information this pattern of two bishops uh, are actually called boden's mate and it's a checkmating pattern where two bishops mating on two crisscrossing diagonals with the possible flight squares like like this one um, for the king being occupied by the friendly pieces so that's what happened here uh, also the queen here uh, and it's called after samuel boden the player from chess player from 19th century however he didn't invent that it was known already this pattern was known before and i actually found very nice game uh, played before uh, Samuel Boden played that and I'm gonna show that game tomorrow so if you don't want to miss that video press subscribe smash the bell button and thanks for watching don't forget to press like if you like this video and unlike if you don't like this video and see you in the next one